carbs and sugar. Wrong. It turns out that carbs and sugar can be totally part of a healthy diet, even in really high quantities. As long as you're getting enough protein, most of your carbohydrates are coming from veggies, fruits, and whole grains, and you have lots of physical activity and resistance training, and the total calories are not excessive. You can have people who eat lots of carbs and lots of sugars, lots of bodybuilders, endurance athletes, and very healthy vegans do this all the time, and those folks are some of the healthiest people in the entire world. There is nothing mechanistically about carbs and sugar that is any worse for you than an excessive amount of fat, or really an excessive amount of protein. Everything in excess, specifically calories, is bad for you. If it's excess carbs and sugars that are making you have excess calories, you should reduce them. But you can have lots of carbs and sugars if you are not overeating calories based on what you burn. How do you know that? Are you a fat motherfucker that weighs too much? You're eating too much. Are you nice and lean? You're good to go. Have all the carbs and sugars that you Boom! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Man, this is a great little interaction we had here, and I think it will tell you about the plight that people have when there's a flavor of the month. Now, I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember, but back in the early 2010s, the Hodge twins had Snap City, where every time someone lifted heavy with a little bit of off form, they'd be like, Snap City, Snap City. Then every time someone would do, I do a big lift, Snap City, Snap City, it was so fucking annoying. And I love the Hodge twins. They're like brothers to me. I love those guys. But it was so fucking annoying. Brings me to Mike Israel. I love Dr. Mike. I love Jared. I love those guys. But frankly, I'm sick and tired of this black and white bullshit. And Dana White kind of called it out. And I'm glad it's there. Look, I mean this with all due respect. But every time, sometimes I just like to lift fucking weights. I don't want to worry about fucking, I got to get two RIR. I got to, I, I just don't, and I do that a lot. I love the form. I love the slow eccentrics. I love that shit, but I'm fucking tired of you guys taking it for fucking gospel and the only thing you could do. The other day I posted a video of me getting 100 pound, 102 pound dumbbells for 35 reps. Oh, I wonder if Dr. Michael approved. I didn't want Dr. Mike's fucking approval. At the end of the day, I'm an IFBB fucking pro. I've been training for fucking 30 years. I, I've trained, coached, Thousands of kids who've gone to D1, gone to the NFL, played major league soccer, whatever the fuck it is. I've done all that. I don't need anyone's validation for how I like to train. There's reasons for everything. Like there's reasons why we had, we just went over this on the live yesterday. We had kids do 10, 110 yard gassers before training. <laughs> Hint, it wasn't for physical, it was for mental. Okay, you don't always have to follow these fucking rules. It's not like, well, the science says, science is fucking fluid. Scientists should fucking know that. We find out new data every day. So rather than shitting on everybody else's program, why don't we take from that program what works and learn from it? No, no, Dana White's stupid because he does keto. Here's why he's wrong. Here's my video tearing him apart. Now the videos are all about, well, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. I'd like to look at what's right, okay? What's right is that Dana White and look, Gary Brecka, he's weird. He says some weird shit. You don't see me shitting on him. I think he's a little bit of a sales guy, whatever, con man. I don't know. All I know is that Gary, Gary Brecka has Dana White feeling and looking his best ever. So in this video, and I'll, I, I'll play it right. Or I played it. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. In this video, you know, basically, Mike Israel is going like, you know, they're like, hey, hey, you know, Dana, you're, you're, you're the man. You're rich as fuck. You look great. You can still kick people's asses. Hey, hey, how'd you get, man, I cut out carbs and sugar. And Mike's like, nah, fuck that. You can eat all the carbs and sugar you want. Um, it's about being in a hypocaloric state. And I agree with Dr. Mike. I agree. But guess what? It's easier for most people just say, fuck it. I'm going to cut out 33% of my available macronutrients. I'm going to control my blood sugar. I'm just going to eat, I'm just going to eat protein and fat and veggies and maybe some fruit. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna look great. And for most people, that's easy. And Dana White summed it up so well in here. Dana White himself. Mark Bell, props on Dana White being on your Instagram. I love Mark. Yeah, from Dana White. Yeah, everything this dude said sounds very complicated. Keto works for me. It's simple and I love it. I've never felt healthier in my entire life. I'm not asking anyone to do what I do. I'm not debating some fucking dude who thinks he's a health expert. I share what works for me. If you don't agree with it, very simple, don't do it. Keto is perfect for my lifestyle, age, etc. 
but everyone has to do what works for them. Bingo. I do what works for me and a lot of what we do, we don't know why we do it. You know, like, look at all these guys are on steroids. We're all on fucking steroids, right? Like, we're all on steroids. Why do they do the steroids they do? Why do you do certain stuff? Well, you can go with DHT, this, that, and the third. A lot of times it's because that other big dude did those steroids. Why do, why do bodybuilders take their GH over four IUs per day? There's really not that much data on over two IUs per day. Yet they do it. Why? Because it just fucking works. You think before Arnold started training the way he trained, you think that there was data on it? No, they did the data to support what Arnold was seeing or to uh, maybe disprove what Arnold was seeing. But at the end of the day, you have to try it. You have to do it. Dana White was in bad health. He tried keto. He did the fasting. He did the cleanses, whatever the fuck Gary had him doing. He's training. He's looking great. He's had a six pack and here he is. But no, 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 but, but the data, the data say, look, man, I love data. I sit here every day and I do a video talking about data. I fucking love data, but like you can't, the body's not a textbook and what works for Dana might not work for Mike. Mike wants to be an IFBB pro. Dana doesn't give a fuck about being an IFBB pro. He wants to be able to go to dinner and say, Hmm, okay. I'm at fucking PF Chang's. Dana White probably doesn't need a PF Chang's. What should I order? Well, fuck. Yeah. Just give me the beef and some veggies. Caloric control, blood sugar control. He's probably going to order it without the sauce because it's not keto friendly. Right there, that's how you create a caloric deficit. So while we, we like to think, and Elaine does this as well, where we shit on everybody else's programs, and I've done it where I've critiqued it, but it just seems like these science guys are so into themselves and into the data. And by the way, everybody cherry picks data. The carnivores cherry pick data, the ketos cherry pick data, the, the, if it's your macros, they all cherry pick data and then they'll shit on the other data, but they won't look at flaws in their own data that they're source they're citing. Daniel, what works best for you? I've tried it all. For me, it just depends. Right now I'm extremely active. Like today I did two hours of boxing this morning and I'm exhausted. I'm going to train legs tonight. What am I going to do? I'm not going keto. I need a fuckload of carbs because I need to recover. Dana White's not doing that. But if I was more sedentary, let's just say um, I'm just at an office all day. I'm not doing cardio. I'm not going to slam down fucking white rice. It's just not going to happen. But whatever. Whatever. That's what makes YouTube fu fucking great though. Because what will happen, Dr. Mike will do a video on how Dana White's an idiot. Dana White will rebuke and say Dr. Mike's an idiot. Then I'll do a video and say everybody's stupid. And that's how we get views, ladies and gentlemen. So I would like to just offer you something special today. Fruit cereal MTS way is back in stock. We have eight total flavors and you can mix and match in six pound bundles. That is cheaper per pound than when we had five pounders. Okay. We got, let me see if I can get them all chocolate, vanilla, ice cream, sandwich, cookies and cream, peanut butter, cookies and cream, mint cookies and cream, fruit cereal. Hmm. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I'm missing one. Uh, peanut butter cookies and cream, mint cookies and cream, ice cream sandwich. Uh, what, what, uh, did I mention fruit cereal? Fruit cereal! I think I got them. Anyway, tigerfitness.com, go to tigerfitness.com and please support us. I'll give you 10% off the entire site through the end of this weekend with coupon code FRUITY. 10% with coupon code FRUITY, F-R-U-I-T-Y. Coupon code FRUITY at tigerfitness.com. Please support us. Greatly appreciate it. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and thank you to Mark Bell for platforming everybody. He's given me an opportunity to be on his show. God bless Mark Bell. If you're not following him, please follow him. And of course, follow me on all platforms at Mark Lobliner. Any questions, I'll answer it right here on this channel. Mark at tigerfitness.com or DM me on Instagram. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Mark Lobliner. Again, coupon code FRUITY saves you 10% at tigerfitness.com. And that's not a gift. Everybody here knows about the benefits of probiotics and digestive enzymes for gut health, for immunity. So I wanted something that I could eat after a meal. I always like something sweet after I eat, kind of like a dessert, but we don't want the calories. So what if we could create a calorie-free, naturally sweetened wafer that's delicious, that's chocolatey, that I can eat after a meal, I can eat any time, that satisfies my sweet tooth, but also delivers 
the probiotics and digestive enzymes. So we have machine uptake. Machine uptake, check this out, is a delicious chocolate wafer. Mmm, that is so good. Calorie free. What I do is after meals, especially those containing lactose, maybe whey protein, something that your body might not agree with. Maybe you're a little lactose intolerant, maybe a little dairy intolerant. Machine uptake is perfect for you. Get a bottle, try it, you'll love it. It'll become your probiotic of choice and it's absolutely delicious.